Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivat Nankamani, an integration technical architect. Couple of days ago, my one of my friends requested me to uh, publish a video on methods and techniques on how we can process million plus records that's coming in a single CSV file. So the idea is to uh, receive a big file that contains millions of records and basically retrieve them, process them, validate them, and then insert it into the records. And if there are any failures, uh, put it in an error folder. So this is the use case. But the problem and challenge here is, uh, what if the single CSV file contains, uh, say, 10 million records? So there is some specific method and design how we have to create a mule flow and design it in order to process million plus records. So in this video, I'm going to present that such use case and uh, let's get started. So this is the design of the API or how we should design to get such files. So uh, there is a folder, there is a listener and uh, there is a big file that contains million plus records placed into a folder. And basically our objective is to retrieve it and uh, split the whole file into uh, multiple CSV files or CSV file that contains smaller chunk of records. And again, uh, create a listener and that uh, retrieves the files one by one, validates them, retrieves, ex extracts the records and uh, processes them one by one. And either it inserts it into the database as a record uh, in case the data is valid and uh, in case if it contains any error and we are isolating such records into the error folder. So this is the design. But even then there is a complexity here uh, in this part where uh, there is a listener reading the big uh, uh, chunk of records together. Because basically MuleFlow uh, takes the records, has it and uh, keeps it in memory before it processes. So uh, that might lead to Java heap error uh, because uh, it can't hold 1 million plus records in the memory. So here is where the feature of Java or power of Java comes into picture. So Java contains a streaming facility where we can stream the file to read the records and thereby uh, the entire content of the record or file does not load into the memory and rather uh, it gets streamed up and then uh, starts reading the records byte by byte and then we need to convert uh, uh, after reading one line at a time and we can decide how many lines we want to create or how many records should be there in the resultant CSV file. Say for example if million records come we are going to extract it in terms of thousand records in each file and we are going to process it. So this is a whole design and I'm going to explain how the Java file can read a single large file and split it into multiple files. This scenario is mostly possible uh, for the people who are working under uh, e-commerce uh, integration. So in such integration normally we get product feed and uh, rate feed. So uh, uh, those kind of details are come in full chunk. For example vendors uh, uh, might make or might expose uh, their product availability through this uh, CSV file and they will also send the rate of each file uh, in, in another uh, rate file separately. So normally uh, the product feed is uh, processed first and then because normally number of products uh, sold in an e-commerce website is huge in million plus. So uh, then rate also will come in a, a increased uh, a number because one product might have multiple rates based on the promoted promotion code. So, uh, I mean, this is often occurring, it's a, it's a uh, repeatedly occurring use case uh, for uh, people working under e-commerce uh, domain. Another interesting aspect is uh, that such file will come repeatedly every day because uh, uh, rates of the product uh, change every day dynamically uh, in the, in, in the e-commerce site, you might note uh, the rate might differ uh, for every day. So this is the Java utility uh, I have come up. Uh, to split the incoming big file uh, CSV into multiple files. So uh, it's very simple uh, to use uh, uh, java.io. So java.io has a, a file stream. So you can uh, define the file. I mean, uh, here is the file name that I defined here. So based on that, you can create a file. 
I think uh, one who is familiar with Java uh, might get this easily, but even otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm going to uh, share this Java file in the description below as a link. You can download it easily. Or you can, when you go through it, you will uh, understand the purpose easily and you can, you can modify uh, based on your requirements, if at all, if this situation comes into your project. So we are reading it and uh, uh, the basic idea is until we get uh, end of the line, end of the file, we repeatedly read the uh, line. And uh, so we are basically collecting all the lines and we are deciding here uh, how many lines uh, we need to split. Uh, so we want to split in terms of thousand records in each file. So we are repeating it once uh, we reach uh, that many lines and we are uh, uh, putting it into the separate file. So the output file name uh, we are uh, uh, calling it as uh, um, small CSV file. So it would say small CSV file uh, hyphen one. So small CSV file hyphen two. So dynamically we are creating a file uh, with the incremental integer. So that's it, it's a very simple one. So finally, uh, after reading it, uh, we are uh, deleting that file. Now we will come back and investigate uh, how the mule flow is designed. Uh, this is very uh, simple. And we have uh, two listeners uh, in the flow. So one listener contains a, a big file polling, big file CSV polling. So uh, this flow will trigger and uh, the scheduler will trigger uh, based on the cron job or uh, based on the interval. It will, uh, it will keep polling for the incoming file. So the moment incoming file arises, uh, we are going to invoke this uh, Java class by means of invoke static. So you might see here, uh, this method is a static method because it's an, it's an utility and you don't need to create a Java instance in multiple times. So it just created once and used many times. So uh, here we have a invoke static method because when I was giving a solution uh, in the chat, uh, the people kept asking me how we can invoke a Java class in mule context. So it's very simple. So we have a, a invoke method or invoke static uh, component available in uh, mule 4 or it's even in available in mule 3 you don't need to worry about it so the class name we need to give it here and then we need to give the method which we need to call it's that simple so it's called and uh, once called uh, this uh, utility function is going to split and uh, uh, put the result and find the files in another folder uh, so uh, that's the task of this first flow and second flow is listening uh, the split file the smaller chunk of files uh, under a designated folder where this Java file is going to write into so once we read it and uh, other uh, concepts are simple and uh, we are going to uh, receive it and convert that uh, JSV into array either JSON array or Java key value pairs you can split and uh, after that uh, we have a uh, a component uh, for batch processing um, so since each CSV contains thousand records again still you need to you cannot avoid uh, processing as a batch so under the batch we are repeating it and then inserting the records into the database if it contains any error we are catching that error and on error continue and we are putting it into the error folder so it's a simple design but elegant uh, so, so uh, there is no chance for errors to occur. So uh, if you have any uh, doubts on this use case, uh, I have posted a separate video on how to process uh, a CSV file uh, via uh, a Mule 4. You can go through that and you can understand better. But in this video, I'm focusing on how the large file can be split and then it can be processed in smaller chunks. So let's uh, run this uh, flow and then see how it works. I have created folders and uh, I have also created a big CSV file with million records. Let me open it and show it to you. So let me scroll down. So there is a million records. So we are going to split it into 20,000 records uh, in each file. So for simplicity, I created by copy paste and used uh, everything as an integer. Uh, so you can use actual file as well. 
because um, the performance is not going to be impacted uh, when the size varies for every line. I have tested it already. So uh, here is a file with million records and uh, so there are uh, uh, two other folder locations, output file location where the resultant file, the split file is going to appear here. And there is an errors folder where uh, there are some, uh, instead of integer I have uh, placed some alphabet uh, deliberately to make some errors. So I am going to copy this and into the input file and I am going to see what happens. Here we go. So I hope uh, the CSV file started uh, uh, sp splitting. Let's go to the output file location. Yeah, you can see here uh, the number of files keep increasing. So yeah, it's completed. It's all 50 files. And let's open one of the files and see the content. And you can see each record uh, contains 20,000 records. And uh, this should get processed one by one because we used uh, a database component to uh, insert them into the database. Let's see the number of records into the database. So here is my database. Initially it was empty. It was zero before I process. So now uh, 838 records uh, got inserted. So um, you have to ensure that there are no logs available here because logs is a file IO activity. It consumes a lot of time. That's why uh, it's being very slow. So let's go to the log4j file and under the resources folder, we can uh, open it. And we are going to set uh, uh, the log level to off. So let's go and check uh, this log level to off and everything is off so that uh, we are going to mute the logs completely and then try now. So I turned off all the logs and uh, it seems to work a little faster. So um, I profiled it and it processes uh, 10,000 records in uh, less than two three minutes so that's it in this video these are the simple design techniques that you can apply to handle uh, complex scenarios while these tips and techniques are not a thumb rule uh, but uh, this give you some basic idea on how to handle complex uh, and big file scenario hope this video was useful to you and if so please like my video and subscribe my channel i can soon come up with more useful topics in the future again thanks for watching Bye.